the first thing what we're going to do is model our coin. You're going to delete the default cube, go to mesh, and select the cylinder. Scale down with S, and then click Z to move it downwards. Once you get about the same coin shape as you want, you're going to apply the scale, and then you're going to add a bevel modifier. This will just add some nice bevels to the edge of the coin, because the coin is not going to be like super straight like that. So maybe add a bevel like that, and then to smooth it out, we're also going to add a subdivision surface under the bevel modifier. Shade this smooth, and kind of see what look you're going for. I'm going to grab these two faces and inset with I, just to get a little bit smoother, and that's looking really, really good. Um, next, we're going to add a ground plane. This is going to be the plane that the objects interact with. You're going to go tab into edit mode, click E to extrude downwards, and give it a little bit of thickness. We're next going to move the coin upwards and go to the physics properties. If you go to rigid body and then add a rigid body to the ground plane, you can set this to a passive. What's going to happen is if you click play, oh look, it actually sticks. We're on to a great, great start. Next, we make this gold coin the same mass as a gold coin. You can do that by going to Object, um, Rigid Body, and then Calculate Mass. Once you go to Calculate Mass, you can click on this gold object. So now we're at 17,000 kilograms. That's a lot of kilograms, but note that we also are at um, almost a 2 meter large gold coin. So you're going to get a lot of weight from that. I'm going to click Space, and it's interacting properly. This is looking really, really good. Next thing that we're going to do is add some lights. I just have a quick setup that I can use right here. This is called the Pro Lighting Studio by Blender Guru. I really recommend it. Um, click on your coin and then drag this over to the shader editor. Once you're in the shader editor, you can click the new and then add a gold material. I'm just going to turn metallic all the way up and then roughness slightly down. Give it a gold color too. A little bit in orange, but a little darker than orange. That's like a brown, maybe like about right there seems pretty solid um, next thing that we're going to do is check if your simulation is working that looks pretty great and you're basically done but what I am gonna do is add a little bit more detail to this coin you can do that by adding a Musgrave texture connecting that to the roughness input and then turning the dimensionality down and the detail up that's like a really, really kind of rough coin. I'm probably going to take that detail down just slightly, about right there. Turn the scale where I want it. And turn the dimensionality a little bit farther. That's looking pretty good. I'm actually also going to add a color ramp. And then you can squish these values in to get the desired wear and tear on this coin. Maybe take this down from a white. And this is just determining how rough this is going to be. What you can also do is add a bump node. Put that into the normal and then connect the same color ramp to the height and now you get like what looks to be like some like engraving in the coin i'm actually going to take the distance down because you don't want it too too relevant and that that's looking pretty good and also invert this so it looks like it's digging into the coin instead of pushing out of it um, and at this point you're basically done i'm going to shrink the coin down a little bit because it is really really big for the uh, really really heavy and I don't know if that'll look good make sure to set the scale again and then change the bevel if it's uh, any different than you think it should look um, and then we're also going to go back to objects um, rigid body and then calculate mass to a gold object if we go back to this object now we're only at 47 kilograms which seems a little bit better yeah that's that's looking really great what we're going to do now is duplicate Actually, before we duplicate, I'm also going to set the shape to a cylinder object. This makes the most sense to me because this is pretty much a shrunk down cylinder. And um, to make sure everything works properly, I'm going to add the bevel and add the subdivision. Um, once we duplicate this a couple times more, and also make sure that you scale this object here. And also you can set to the surface so everything interacts correctly. We are going to drop these gold objects and it's working properly. That's basically all you got to do for this i'm going to duplicate this a bunch more times because i really like the effect of like hundreds and hundreds of gold coins it's really whatever your computer can handle we're going to go with um let's see about that and huzzah it's done that's basically all you need to do um the next thing we're going to do is in the video that i showed at the beginning i had this little object that pushes all the coins so if you add a if you add another cube and then push it over to the side here, set the scale, you can go into your rigid body settings and then turn this to an animated object and keyframe the very start. Let me show I'm going to keyframe here. And then when all the coins fall to the ground right about there, 
I'm also going to actually I'm gonna get the keyframe put it at 62 and then at a hundred I'm gonna shift this over to this side and add another keyframe so what we should see if I set this to 120 frames is they fall to the ground and then get pushed <laughs> by that object and they just fly off the side that is absolutely perfect and what you can do is if you set a camera right here and then make sure that none of the coins are in your field of view you can actually have this looping like I did in the beginning this video was created because I had a TikTok that did really well on the same subject. I really hope you guys liked the longer video, about six minutes. And if you did, please consider giving me a follow and maybe go to my other socials and you'll see some cool tutorials that you like. See ya.